Hey folks, so I wanted to do an example from our homework. This is the homework from Experience 8. The particular problem that I'm interested in is number 11, because number 11 here asks us to create this confidence interval, but it doesn't actually give us the sample statistics. So we need to go to either Excel or Google Sheets or some tool and calculate the mean and standard deviation of the sample before we can proceed. So I've got Google Sheets open and I'm going to copy and paste these sample values. And I just opened up a blank one here, but there is a template on our my open math page. I'm going to paste them. And remember the way that we request Excel or Google Sheets to perform a computation, you have to enter the equal sign. And I'm going to ask for the average. I believe I can select the region that I want. Sweet. And I'm also going to get the standard deviation. Sweet. Okay, I'm going to use those values now in the confidence interval formula. So this is x bar, this is s, n is the sample size. And so I'm just going to count these. There are four columns times five rows, so our sample size is 20. The t table value, we need to go to the row that says 19 degrees of freedom. I believe the question wanted 90% confidence. So I'm doing a couple steps in one here. We had 90% confidence, which implies that the significance is 0.10 but we need to chop that in half. So when I go to the T table, I want to go to the column that says 0 0.05. Okay, so 19 degrees of freedom, because that's sample size minus one, and then the column that is half of 0.10, which is 0 0.05. Okay, so the T critical value is 1.729, 1.729. Okay, I've got all my bits and pieces here, and you know, I think I can just use Google Sheets to calculate this. So since I've got all my numbers here, the formula starts off with the sample mean. So that is the 46.075. I'm actually gonna type it. I could just click around, but I want this to be clear. It's the sample mean. I'm gonna do the lower bound first. The T critical times the standard deviation. divided by the square root of the sample size, 20. Sweet. So that's going to be the lower bound. The upper bound, if you don't mind, I'm going to be a little lazy here, and I'm going to copy paste all this stuff into the cell, but I'm going to modify this minus sign into a plus sign. Okay, let's go type those values into our answer field in our homework. And 
the question states to round to two decimal places. So I'm going to go double check that I have done that appropriately. 38.29, that seems good. And then 53 point, uh, I should go to 0.86. That is satisfying.